What's happening, YouTube? Jonathan Pariente V Execution 10 here, coming at you guys with another video. I want to ask you guys to please continue to check and subscribe to my channel for more YouTube videos. And today, we're going to be opening up a sneak peek, the brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! set, Lightning Overdrive. Very interesting set, new booster box, uh, some brand new support for some old archetypes are in here. Uh, some cards like for Trap Tricks, Paleozoic, Plunder Patrol, Bougins. Some very interesting uh, new cards that are going to help those old archetypes. Maybe have a chance to maybe see a little play. We have a couple new archetypes being introduced in this set. One of which being the Attraction and Amazement archetype. Which is a very interesting trap based deck. So we're going to uh, definitely see maybe some of that in here. And a couple of new surprises and... Uh, Looking forward to see what we got. So let's crack it open. And let's see what we pull out of this box. Also some new Synchro support. There's uh, the Black Rose Dragon has new support in here as well. So very, very exciting. And we'll uh, see what we pull in here today. There we go. All right, let's start on the right-hand side. Probably go through some notable cards if maybe breeze through others. All right, we have one Curry Way. <laughs> this is a nice little car with Ling Karibo and Ling Garibo in the picture. And this is uh, good for Link 1 mo monsters. Pretty cool. We have Warrock Generations. New support for the Warrock archetype. Uh, I heard they got a bunch of new cards in here. and I'd say uh, keep your eye out on Warrock. It could be a very good deck going forward. ZW Pegasus Twin Saber, so new support also for the ZW archetype. Should be interesting to see where this goes. Terrors of the Underroot. Interesting, lets you kind of swap out your opponent's banished cards with what they have in their graveyard and kind of switch it. Interesting. Alright, we have our first rare, first super rare, it's Zexel Construction. So new support also for Zexel archetypes. Uh, reveal one card in your hand if you do. Add one of the following cards from your deck to your hand, then shuffle the revealed card into the deck. Uh, so you can add a ZW monster, a ZS monster, a Zexel spell or trap, a rank up magic spell, a rank down magic spell. Wow. Card that gives you those choices. That's pretty, pretty cool. We have Hidden Springs of the Far East. Very weird card. You kind of get to... Kind of reminds me a little bit of Chicken Game. Judge of the Ice Barriers, new support for the Ice Barrier deck. Star Mine, nice little generic synchro. And there's our first support for Bujins, Bujin Mahitotsu. Right, this uh, this card's pretty good, lets you pitch Bujins to the grave and then add. Don't see if the deck's going to do anything, but not too bad. Alright, that's the next pack. And we got a nice new support for DDDs. DDD Super Sight King Zero Maxwell. Oh, cool. This is a card that can change a defense monster to zero, and then it can deal piercing damage. That is pretty sweet. So new power for the DDD deck. We have Otto Shidamashi. Oh, very cute little otter. Cool. And there's our first of the Amazement archetype, the Amaze Attraction cards. Amaze Attraction Majestic Merry-Go-Round. So, this deck does a lot of traps that equip to monsters, so that's what you're going to see a lot of the Amazement and Attraction deck do. So, uh, this will be interesting. I'm very curious to see what this uh, deck, this archetype is going to do in the meta. <clears throat> nice, we got also a new, new S-Force, new Security Force support. S-Force Dog Tag. This is a very interesting card. I could probably see Cyber Dragons playing this. This is a light machine, it's level 5, and it has 2100 defense, so this can definitely be used for, like, Noxter and stuff. So definitely I wouldn't sleep on maybe teching this in Cyber Dragon. And we have Expendable Die. I actually like this card. Tribute a Warrior Monster, target a card in the field, destroy it, and if you do, draw one card. Wow. So that means you could play this card in Infernoble Knights, you can play this card with Warrock, you could also play this in Heroes. That's actually give Heroes a little bit of an out, something it really didn't have before. So that's actually an interesting card. We'll see if that does anything. Uh, another Maze Attraction, Rapid Racing. Oops. 
skipped a card there, I'm sorry. Basil Rose Shoot. This is uh, the new sport, part of the new sport for the Bros Dragons. Special summon a Rose mon Dragon monster from your hand or grave in defense. This card is destroyed when it's set. Target one of your Black Rose or a monster that lists Black Rose in its text. It's banished from your grave. Special summon it. Wow. And there we go. The new support for Plunder Patrol. This is Black Eyes, the Plunder Patrol Sea Guide. Uh, this card is actually really, really strong. You target a Plunder Patrol monster in your graveyard except for Black Eyes. Special summon this card from your hand. And if you do add that monster to your hand, then you can't summon for the rest of the turn except for Plunder Patrol. If this card is sent from the hand or monster zone to the grave, you can target a Plunder Patrol in your spell and trap zone. Special summon it in defense. Wow. So you get a card that can start the deck. You can just summon it from your hand and bring a Plunder Patrol back to your hand. That, that is filthy good. And this is something the deck actually was missing that it didn't have. And nice, another Amaze Attraction. It's the Wonder Wheel. Very interesting card. Nice, not too bad. Let's move on to the next pack. Let's go a little quicker here. We got Springen's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded. Some interesting new support for fusions. Another dog tag. Yamori Mori. Interesting. Nice, we got Tri Brigade Bear Brum, the Rampant Rampager. This is the brand new support, uh, the piece that Tri Brigades needed to really get themselves into the forefront of the meta. This is a Link 2 monster, two Tri Brigades. Kind of sucks that you need Tri Brigades only to make this. You discard two cards, you can target a banished level 4 or lower beast, warrior beast, or wing beast, and special summon it. This card is sent to the graveyard. This is the part where it's good, though. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add any Tri Brigade spell from your, or trap from your deck to your hand. Then place one card from your hand on the bottom of your deck. But then you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except for Tri Brigades. So this card already will be getting your Tri Brigade Revolt from your, to your hand. And then you can just set it for next turn. And then you can just make a link on your opponent's turn. So this is actually really strong. And uh, this card will definitely be seeing a lot of play. Sunvine Crossbreed, new support for Sunvines. Oh, there's a lot of new plant support in here. Fuki Biki. And Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. World Soul Carbon. Cool. Pass. Another One Curry Way. Dark Eye Nightmare. <laughs> Interesting. Another Terrors of the Underroot. Another Springen's Brothers. And we got Supreme Sovereign Serpent of Golgonda. Interesting looking card. You and I. Yeah, new support for Adagnister. They're getting new support in this deck. I like that play on words. Another Hidden Springs of the Far East. Another Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. And another ZS. ZS Arm Sage. This is another new support for the card deck. On to the next pack. <laughs> nice. Sky Scourge Sidel. Some new support for the Sky Scourge. Uh, I don't know if this card's going to really be that good. But it has potential, I guess. Uh, Zexel Alliance. Another new card for the Zexel deck. So if an Xyz monster you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, pay life points that you only have 10 left. Special summon Utopia from your graveyard, and if you do take one card from your deck, place it on top of your deck. That special summon monster's attack is doubled, and it cannot be destroyed by battle except by battle with a, no a number monster, nor by card effects. Wow. Dark Eye Nightmare. Warrock Generations. And nice, there's our first Ultra Rare, Albion the Branded Dragon. So this is what this card will do. This will involve using Fallen at Albaz, so kind of new support for him. Uh, so you just need Albaz and you need a Light Monster to make this, which is pretty strong. And the fact that this card also lets you Fusion Summon another level 8 or lower Fusion from your extra deck by banishing materials. Listen, that's, that's, like, that's really filthy. By banishing it from your hand field and her graveyard. So this is like a walking invocation. Sort of. Well, only for your side, of course, but... 
And then if this card's sent to the grave, you can take any Brandon spell or trap card directly from your deck and set it. <sighs> that's nasty. Really strong. Screams of the Branded. So that's another support for the deck. Zexel Intrust. And another Armed Sage. And Birth of the Prominence Flame. Okay, interesting. Some fire support. Still looking for our first secret rare. Uh, got Dan Mari, Adagnister. All right, some new support for the Adagnisters. Another Sky Surge Sidels. Nice, we got Dogmatic Calamity. So, new support for Dogmatica in the form of Ritual Monsters. Hmm. This is an interesting card. So, this card can be used to summon any Dogmatica Ritual Monster. So, I'm feeling there might be more than one. You tribute monsters from your hand or field whose level is equal to the level of the Ritual Monster. Or you can send a monster from your extra deck to the graveyard whose level is equal to that. So you can just pitch a Titanic clad. You can you can just pitch a Elder Entity in a test and get a pop. That's that's actually really good. I meet you. <laughs> Another new play on words for the adding mister. Nice. We got Lavalval X Lords and new support for Lavalvals in the form of a Synchro monster. Nice. You and I again. Binary Blader, new Link Monster, using normal cards. Sunvine Crossbreed, and another Bujin Mahi Totsu. Nice. The next pack. Nice, we got Bujin Candescence, new, so another new card for the Bujins. Actually protects them from being destroyed by card effects. It's actually pretty good. Amazement Attraction Merry Go Round. Another Atoshida Mashi. Nice. There we are. Our first Paleozoic Link. It's this is the new support for the deck. Cambro Raster. Very very cool looking card. Got up and down arrows, which isn't bad. Uh, just like all the Paleozoic uh, Zoics, unaffected by monster effects. And then you can use each of the following effects once per turn. You target a set card in the Spell and Trap Zone. Send it to the graveyard, and then if you do, set a Paleozoic Trap directly from your deck. It can be activated this turn. Wow. And then if a set card or cards would you control be destroyed by card effect, you banish this card from your field or graveyard instead. So this card can block, can protect your back row from being Lightning Stormed, Harpies, Feather Dustered, just by banishing himself. Wow. And all you need are just two Paleozoic monsters to make it. So this is this is great support for for Paleo and Frogs, just to give you an extra card to kind of float with and really just kind of go off. This is a really nice card, and I think this, this is going to see a lot of play. And we got Branded in White. So this is the fusion card for the to make Albion the Branded Dragon. You can also use this for any fusion monster that includes using a Dragon monster. So actually, that's not bad at all. And if you use Fallen of Albaz, you can banish from your graveyard instead. That's actually really good. Nice. And then you could just, if it's sent to the grave by using the effect of Fallen Albaz, you can just reset this and just use it again. It's not once per turn, which is actually really strong. Nice. We got one by one. So a little play on one for one. You send a monster from your hand or field to the grave and target one of your level one monsters that's banished or in your graveyard. Accept the monster sent to the grave and add it to your hand. So you can use this to recycle DD Crow, perhaps if you use it. Uh, if you play Infernoids, you can actually you can definitely recycle Decatron with this. That's actually really good. And the fact that you can recur your banished cards, something that Infernoids didn't have, was actually that's actually really good. Springin's Beauty, Warrock Big Blow, another new card for the Warrock deck, and Anka Mufrit. Hmm, weird Pendulum. Interesting. Still looking for that first secret rare. Still looking for wherever that secret rare is hiding. Where or where can it be? Yamori Mori. Springin's Brothers. Judgment of the Branded. Nice, got our first Scrap Raptor. This is new support for dinosaurs, 
This is a really good card. You target a monster you control, destroy it. Also, during your main phase, you can normal summon a scrap monster in addition to your normal summoner set. If this card is destroyed by the effect of a scrap card and sent to your grave, you can add a scrap factory or a non-tuner scrap from your deck to your hand. So you can definitely use this with scrap and orcists, with like scrap uh, recycler and stuff. But the fact that you can just target a monster you control and destroy it with baby Sarasaurus and Petite, you can just pop them off and get effects. That's actually filthy. And nice, there is our first secret, Diviner of the Herald. This is a import card, I believe, and one of the big money secrets in this set. Uh, this card is really, really strong. Uh, this card is normal or special summoned. You can send any fairy from your deck or extra deck to the grave, and if you do, increase this card's level by that monster's level until the end of the turn. If this card is tributed, you can special summon any level 2 or lower fairy from your hand or deck except herself. So this is a card you are going to see in Drytrons. This is going to be allowing Drytrons to really speed up their plays, I, I think, like tenfold. Even if they get a brick hand, now you're able to just... Pitch any fairy you want and make it that level. So you can just pitch Drytrons of any kind. Well, actually, no, excuse me. You can't pitch Drytrons. They're machines. But you can pitch Herald of the Arclight. You can pitch uh, Benton if you want. I mean, that, that is just disgustingly good. Wow. Nice. we got Amazement Ambassador Bufo. New support for the Amazements. Clock Arc. And again, Judge of the Ice Barrier. Spriggan's Beauty. All right, so finally got our first secret. We'll eventually see what our second one's going to be. Hopefully it'll be just as good as Diviner. Starry Night Seal. I Challenge You. <laughs> nice new play. Another Scrap Raptor. A Boo Boo Game. This is a very interesting little trap. During Damage Collision, if a monster battles, you take no battle damage from that battle. If this set card is destroyed, in its owner's control is destroyed by your opponent's card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can target up to two normal traps in your graveyard, accept boo-boo game, and set them to your field. They can be activated this turn. It's actually really good. So you can recur impermanence. You can recur trap trick. You can recur dimensional barrier. whole bunch of cool things you can recur with boo-boo game. Uh... This might be a sleeper common. I think people are going to figure something out with this card. I would not sleep on it at all. Nice. We got Lina the Light Charmer Lustrous. I think this is one of the best of the Charmer Link monsters that you're going to see. The fact that this card, like all the others, let you take the attribute it is, and if your opponent has one in their grave, you can just take it and summon it to your field. That's actually, that's insane. I, that is so good. Cyber Dragons can use this card because now you just need at least a light to make her. And the fact that now you can take the opponent's construct, you can take the opponent's mecha buzz and use it against them. I mean, wow. This is going to be definitely seen play. We've got Warrock Mahmood. Interesting. New sport for the Warrocks. Rapid Racing. Basil Rose Shoot again. And another copy of Black Eyes, the Plunder Patrol Sea Guide. Already getting some very good pulls already in this box. I think we more than not just made back our money just by pulling the Diviner. Sun Avalon Daphne. Our new support for the Sun Avalon archetype. Denmari Ignister. Another dog tag. Starry Night Seal. Uh, Garden Rose Flora. This is our, seat, our next super. Okay, it's a generic synchro, level 5. So again, this will be used a lot with the Rose Dragons. Another Starmine. Another Warrock Mahmood. Clock Arc. And Warrock Big Blow. Almost done with the right-hand side of the box. Another Sun Avalon Daphne. Another Dark Eye Nightmare. Bougian Candescence. Zexal Alliance. Nice, there's our second ultra rare, Trap Tricks Kularia. So this is the new support for the Trap Tricks. They have another Link monster. They've been getting some more of, of support of late. And 
So like all trap tricks, this summon this link summon card is unaffected by trap effects. You can only well, it's unaffected by trap effects, period, actually. That's really good. So it's not just whole normal traps, it's traps, period. You can only use each of the following effects of Kularia once per turn. After you activate a whole normal trap card, you can set it instead of sending it to the graveyard. Wow. And during your end phase, you can target any Trap Tricks monster in your grave. Special summon it in defense position. Oh, so that kind of sucks a little bit. You can't recur Trap Tricks Seraph. It just let you summon one from the grave and you have Sarah that can just play extra traps. That would have actually been filthy, but this card's still really, really good. Amazement Attraction, Wonder Wheel, you and I, Hidden Springs, Guardian Sphinx. All right, not too bad. So we've gotten our two Ultras and our one Secret so far for the right-hand side of the box. And this is the last pack on the right side. And let's see what we got. DDD of Super King Max, Supreme King Maxwell, Amazement Special Show. This is a new support for the Amazements. One Curry Way, Warrock Generations, nice Warrock Wento, so new support for the, another new monster for the Warrocks. I think the support they're getting in here for this set is actually really good. I think it's going to do some stuff. Screams of the Branded, another one by one, another Black Eyes, and Thrax and Rapid Racing. All right, so that completes the right-hand side. Let's go to the left. Try to go a little quicker here. I Meet You. Special Show. Another Scrap Raptor. I think we've got a play set now. Warrock Generations. And Rank Up Magic Zexel Force. This is the new Rank Up card for the Zexel and for Utopia. So, let you do some interesting things. I think this card will see some play in some degree. Arm Sage. You and I. Another Binary Blader, Sunvine Crossbreed. Okay. Next pack. Oops. ZW Pegasus Twin Saber, Terrors of the Underroot, Springen's Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, Nice, we got Proof of Proofloss. This is a very interesting looking card. If you control no special summon monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. But then you cannot special summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. You can only use this effect of Proof of Proofless once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon a monster. Wow, it's actually interesting. You can... I could probably see maybe True Draco playing this in a small way. Uh, definitely could see uh, Monarchs maybe using this. You could maybe just you could actually just trip this for free and just get out of Vanity's Fiend, and then your opponent can't play or something like that. So uh, this is a very underrated card. I think it's going to see some play in in anti meta decks or something like that. But we'll see. Fuki Biki, Arm Sage, Guardian Sphinx, Hidden Springs. Pack. And nice, we've got another Boo Boo game. Dogmatic Calamity. Twin Saber. I challenge you. Nice, we got Rocks, Rose, Dragon, so new support for the deck. This is going to be, uh, I think this looks interesting. Let's see if this might see some play. Bujin Mahutotsu, Amazement Ambassador Bufo, Clock Arc, Judge of the Ice Barrier. I have a feeling about another pack or two we might see the next Ultra Rare and not too far from the Secret Rare either. Another Dog Tag, Yamori Mori, Sidels, Lions. And nice, we got Amazement Family Faces. 
I really like these amazement cards. They look, they look very interesting. Another of Wonder Wheel, World Soul Carbon, Basil Rose Shoot, Springin's Beauty. Booty. I didn't really say beauty or I said booty. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Got another of Cambro Raster. DD King Maxwell, Otto Shidamashi, Merry Go Round, and nice. There's our ultra rare ZS Ascended Sage. This is a very cool, interesting looking card. I wasn't sure if this was an ultra. If you control no cards, you can special summon this card from your hand. A Utopia Xyz monster that was summoned using this card as material gains this effect. This card is exceed summon. You can add any rank up magic normal spell from your deck to your hand. Oh, that's really strong, actually. Not bad at all. All right. Springin's Beauty. Star Starmine, Warrock Mahmood, Clockwork. All right. All right, so we've gotten the first Ultra on the left side. You have a feeling the Secret Rare is not far behind. Let's see. Another Dark Eye Nightmare, Generations, Bougian Cadences, another of Merry Go Round, another Unexpected, an Expendable Die, You and I, Anka Mufrit, Ambassador Bufo, Sexel and Trust. Dog Tag, One Curry Way, Dark Eye Nightmare, Terrors of the Underroot, and we got ZW Dragonic Halberd. Oh, that's an interesting new card. And actually, this is strong. It uses two level five monsters, so, and it's 3,000, so that's not too bad. Warrock Big Blow, Screams of the Branded, one by one, Black Eyes. Okay. Still looking for that second secret rare, and we're down about half of the number of packs left, so I have a feeling we're going to pull it. I have a feeling we might pull it maybe on this pack. Let's see if, uh, see if I'm right. Adashita Mashi, third of Camber Raster, Seal, I challenge you, and nice, there is our secret rare, Amazing Time Ticket, this is a, I think this is one of the top cards in the deck for the amazements, you pay 800 life points, it's a quick play which is pretty good, you pay 800 life points, apply this effect, depending on whose turn it is. Uh, if it's on your turn, you can add any amazement card from your deck to your hand. Wow. If it's your opponent's turn, you can set any attraction trap directly from your deck. It can be activated this turn. Pfft. Wow. You can only activate one amazing time ticket per turn. This is a card I think you're going to see a lot of in the amazement deck. It can do a lot of interesting things. Keep your eye out. Binary Blader, Birth of the Prominence Flame, Hidden Springs, Judge of the Ice. Cool. All right, so we got our second secret. So now we're just looking for one last ultra. Let's see if we pull it. Springham's Brothers, Denmari, Sky Scourge Sedels, Dogmatic Calamity, another Zexel Construction, Rapid Racing, Fukubiki, Armed Sage, Armed Guardian Sphinx. Down to the last three packs of the box. Not been a bad sneak peek. I'm pretty good. Scrap Raptor. Boo Boo Games. We got a play set of that. Sun Avalon Daphne. Dark Eye Nightmare. Uh, we got Thrawn the Disciplined Angel. 
I think this is another import card. Okay, interesting. Sunvine, Starmine, Bougin, Crossbreed, Fukubiki. I meet you, Yamori Mori, Springins Brothers, Judgment of the Branded, and nice, there's our ultra rare, it's S-Force Chase, so new support for the security force, target face-up cards your opponent controls, up to the number of S-Force monsters you control with different names, return them to the hand. If an S-Force monster would banish a card from your hand to activate its effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Not bad. Interesting. We have Hidden Springs, Wonder Wheel, Carbon, Rose Shoot. Not too bad. All right, we're down to one final pack. Uh, well, for the heck of it, we'll see what it is. Maybe we'll maybe we'll get another big rarity. Who knows? Who knows, right? Bouge Incandescence, Zexal Alliance, I Meet You, Amazement Special Show, and it's another of Supreme Golgonda. All right. Guardian Sphinx, World Soul Carbon, Screams of Branded, Zexal and Trust. All right, not bad. That's going to do it for this box. Wasn't a bad, wasn't too bad of pulls. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.